I'm Eric Novak and coming up in this report we're taking a look at the all new second generation 2015 Ford Edge. The Ford Edge is all new for 2015, the second iteration of the popular mid-size SUV, which is actually built about 25 miles west of where I'm standing here in downtown Toronto at their Oakville assembly plant. It's a worldwide production of one facility. Well, the Edge is new in styling, a lot of new technologies, and Ford has a lot of hopes for it. So we're here to take a little bit of a drive route in the, uh, the streetscapes of downtown Toronto to see really are we living on the Edge. Ford's original unibody crossover vehicle has been completely redesigned for 2015. The modernized design carries a more streamlined appearance than did its predecessor. That said, the next generation Edge is actually now 3.9 inches longer, 1.3 inches taller and adds almost a full inch to its wheelbase. This equates to increased overall headroom and more legroom for second row passengers as well as 7 additional cubic feet of interior cargo space overall. We were given the chance to drive the new Edge through a specially designed handling course to check out some of the new performance and suspension improvements that were made. Both front and rear suspensions were redesigned on the new Edge with the goal of delivering a more dynamic and engaging ride that customers will feel immediately. Four development tests indicate a 20% improvement in roll control and damping, while steering feel is improved 30% and parking effort also is reduced 30% thanks in part to the new electric power assisted steering. Under the hood of the 2015 Edge, you'll now find three engine options overall. Standard is a twin-scroll, two-liter, four-cylinder EcoBoost engine offering 245 horsepower and 275 pound-feet of torque. The Edge Sport trim will come equipped with a new 2.7-liter V6 EcoBoost engine that will offer 315 horsepower and 350 pound-feet of torque. A naturally aspirated 3.5-liter V6 will also be available, but the 2015 Edge marks the first vehicle in Ford's history to offer EcoBoost engines as standard. All models are equipped with dual output exhaust and a 6-speed automatic transmission. Crossovers are built with functionality in mind and the new Edge doesn't disappoint here either. Featuring a new advanced park assist, the new Edge can not only help you parallel park both in and out of a spot, but also with perpendicular parking as well. A wide-angle camera positioned within the front grille offers exceptional lateral vision when exiting a parking spot. I saw firsthand how the camera could detect a pedestrian coming well before I could. When the front camera gets dirty, a built-in washer cleans it in a flash. From the handling course and safety demo, we were to head out into the streets of Toronto for some further driving evaluations. Sadly though, Toronto's midday traffic made any real driving above a slow crawl impossible, so the best we could do is get a sense for the comfort level and other interior accessories included with the new design. The heavy traffic also didn't allow for us to get any real sense of the new Edge's fuel economy. According to Ford, the 2.0-liter EcoBoost will offer a combined fuel rating of 9.8 liters per 100 kilometers or 24 US miles per gallon. The 2.7-liter V6 EcoBoost is rated at 11.9 liters per 100 kilometers or just under 20 US miles per gallon combined. The 3.5-liter V6 engine offers similar fuel economy to the 2.7-liter EcoBoost but with about 35 fewer horsepower. While I can't back up these numbers just yet, they were determined through the more reliable five-cycle testing method that is now standard here in Canada. So Ford Motor Company, they've got a lot riding on this new second generation Edge. They put a lot of new technology in it, some of it class leading and class exclusive. So overall, is this an out of the ballpark uh, vehicle? Well, you know, it's quite possible. The jury and the consumers will ultimately decide that, but I think so far, they've got a great package to deliver, especially with the new EcoBoost engines, making it even more fuel efficient than it used to be. I really had a good time with this first- hey, Oh, sorry, hey Ashley. Uh, what do you think of the new Canadian built Edge? Oh, uh, I was just saying, it's, it's quite nice. Okay. I quite uh, what about that edge? What, that... Uh... We get to go on that? Yep. <laughs> Live once, right?
I'll freely admit that ever since the new Edge Walk at Toronto's famous CN Tower opened up, it's been part of my bucket list of things to do. This first-of-its-kind thrill attraction involves walking hands-free on a five-foot-wide walkway located on top of the upper observation deck. It takes about half an hour to walk around the 150-meter track, which includes stops to test your courage and to put your faith in the harness keeping you from a free fall to the ground. At 1,168 feet, or the equivalent of a 116-story building, Edge Walk is in the Guinness Book of Records for being the highest external walk on a building. The feeling of hanging over the edge with only a couple of harnesses keeping you up is a thrill like no other. And while the adrenaline-filled experience of this edge is not quite the same as that of driving the rebuilt and well-designed 2015 Ford Edge, I think the bookend experiences were surprisingly well-matched and certainly made for an interesting and memorable day. From high in the sky above Toronto, I'm Eric Novak. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon. If you like this review, we've got more of them, both written and video, at www.envirodad.com. There's also a Facebook page for you to like, and you know what? We're even doing Twitter as well.